Hello viewers and welcome back to episode 22 of Saving South End with me, Bell Nersham. Today we take on Crawley Town and Swindon Town in the league as we look to continue our decent start to the season. We played a few games since we last met, so let's go have a look at the results and then we'll get straight into this first Crawley game. Roll the intro. And here we are then viewers, since we last met in yesterday's episode against Doncaster and Exeter, we played four league games and one pizza trophy game. So we followed that 2-1 victory up with a one all draw with Forest Green, who have just come down from the division below. We were at home, but we were 1-0 down after just seven minutes, so I'm going to take that as a good point gain, because they have come down from the division above, sorry. I think they're going to be a stronger team in this league. They always seem to have a bit of money to spend as well. So, And especially being 1-0 down, I think we've come well to come back and draw there. We then had a disappointing 3-1 loss in the group stage of the Pizza Trophy with Stefan Payne scoring. Steven and Jarrah above us, they are in League 1. So, to, But to be 1-0 up at home and then to lose 3-1, I was a little bit disappointed with. But I don't think we can really read too much into the Pizza Trophy. We then followed that with a 1-0 away win at Yeovil with Odebeko scoring in the 18th minute to give us the three points there. We then went down to Plymouth to draw one all where we were 1-0 down in the first minute again. A team where we were 3-0 up at half time last season or 3-1 up and we drew three all. So again to come back away from home, draw one all with Odebeko getting the goal. Really, really pleased with that. And then we had a bit of a goal fest at home following that against Bradford City where we won 4-2 with Coop. Two goals from Connor Stanley and Harry Lennon, of all people, getting a brace as well. A game that we were 1-0 down in. We were 4-1 up at half-time, which was quite impressive, really, especially to say we were 1-0 down after just six minutes. Really, really good first half after that goal conceded. Quiet to the second half, but a 4-1 up, we just took our foot off that gas a little bit and didn't really need to do a lot more. But again, a really good victory. And those results see us go up to fifth in the table, currently three points off the top. It's still very, very congested in this top. Top nine, really, because there's eight points between ninth and first place. And like I said, in the playoffs, there's five points between first and seventh. So very congested at this early stage. Hopefully we can pick up some points today and just break away from the pack and go into those automatic promotion places. Crawley going into today's game are 22nd. And, and Swindon are just below us on the same points, but we have got a two goal better Two better goal difference than them, so that's going to be a tight game. Fingers crossed we can pick up. I, would, I want three points from Crawley. I'd love three points from Swindon, but I'd take a point. Let's get straight into this Crawley game and see if we can get this episode off to a flying start. And here we are then. The starting 11 is Archie Mayer in goal. Hopefully he doesn't put in any more Doncaster-style appearances today, or Doncaster-style goal kicks, I should say. Both with Jackson at left back, Lennon and Bennett in the centre with Alabusi on the right. Dieng and Oli Turner in the midfield with Nathaniel George on the left, Stanley on the right and Romain Mundell comes in behind Odebeko leading that line for us. To be at home today against a team towards the bottom end of the table, we really do need to be picking up those three points. As I said, it is very, very crucial that we do that. If we don't, I think this maybe sends a few shockwaves through the team and maybe needs to give us a bit of a kick that we need to just push on for the rest of the season. Here we are then, the team talks have done, the game is underway, early highlight, which has gone for a Swindon, Swindon's way, but we've won it back from a good, poor goal kick, Alabusi tries to switch it inside into Turner and does, who back heels it, we've not seen anything like that, Nathaniel George, oh, I thought Nathaniel George was just going to stick that in the back of the net, nice little back heel from Oli Turner there, we've not seen anything like that, here he is with a near post corner, and it's in, Reese Bennett scores his first goal of the season, I wasn't sure if it was Bennett or Lennon, Really, really good corner in from Turner there. Again, that corner tactic's coming in well. Just, I think Lennon just comes in behind and pulls the defender back and Bennett is able to get the header there. And that is a really, really good start after just nine minutes. 1-0 up at home as Crawley come forward. I think I said Swindon in early higher, but it is Crawley, sorry, not Swindon. They were just playing it around themselves. A long ball forward, but we've headed it away with Lennon. Although Crawley pick it back up again. Lagool? Le Lagool, hopefully he doesn't cause a scary time down that left-hand wing. We've gone there. We've gone there. Alabiusi now bringing down the on the right into Dieng. Stanley now bringing it, breaking it forward on this right-hand side. Can he whip a ball in? He's tried to get past his full-back and he has Nathaniel George. Turner! Oh! Nathaniel George just teed it up for Turner who went on the volley. Really, really good bit of play there. But if that was going to end in a goal, what a goal that would have been for us as well. 
It has quietened down a little bit now, but at the moment it does look like, or it did look like we were going up to second in the table, and we are. We're still going up to second, four points behind Mansfield. I think we'll drop some praise on the boys after this highlight crawling now with a, a poor throw in the Alibiusi deals with comfortably into Dieng. Coming down this right again, Dieng into Stanley. Cutting inside into Turner now. Just switch it to the left, Dieng. He tries it oh, and it's just headed away by Crawley now. And they come forward on this right hand side. Can we win this ball back? They play it backwards into their defender who plays it into the centre now. Midfield just coming forward. Long ball at the top and it's dealt with. He Lennon heads it away and Alibiusi just hoofs it to the halfway line. Crawley pick it back up though and again another long ball that Bennett deals with. Again back to the halfway line. Crawley just trying to play it along the floor. Can we win this ball back and intercept a poor pass somewhere? Another long ball and the goal is in. Oh, the goal. He's offside. The goal is offside. He did. I thought he looked a little bit offside. The keeper didn't cover himself in glory there either, I would say. I think the goal gave him the eyes of Bennett corner in. Oh, and it's off. Oh, I thought the ball had just fallen to stab home. Unlucky not to score there as well. Can't turn to get another good ball in. He's he's in for it again. Lennon's there. Harry Lennon, his third goal of the season. It's 2-0. Both centre-backs have scored. If you'd have bet the first two goal scorers of this game, you wouldn't have bet the first two. You wouldn't have bet the centre-backs, I should say. Well done by Lennon there. It's just gone over Bennett's head this time. Finds Lennon, who nestles it into the back of the, 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 the post, the goal. And it is now 2-0, coming up to half-time. Really, really good performance here from the boys. They've dealt with everything that Crawley have thrown at them, apart from, and even the goal. I mean, like I say, I think he gave the keeper the eyes there, but to have that offside was a bit of a blessing. We'll praise the boys there. We'll tell them, we'll tell them things are going well, but we know they are capable of better. And still, there's still room for improvement. There's always room to improve, unless we're about six 0 up at half time. So we'll get this second half back underway. Can we? Can we have a strong start to this second half? If the goal's goal had gone in, I think it would have been a different game. But Bennett and Lennon really, really showing their head and prowess with those corners. Bothwick Jackson into Turner now. Into Nathaniel George. Cutting inside, going down the centre. He's probably going to go alone here and he looks like he's going to. He's had a good run. Finds Odebeka. That would have been a great assist from Nathaniel Jaws there. He'd have had a really, really good run. To be fair, he should have gone on his own there. I wouldn't have even been annoyed. He would have fully, fully deserved it. Bennett with a corner now. Can we make another one? <laughs> Go from a corner we can't. Bennett gets it in the box again. Stanley's there. Connor Stanley, three-headed goals. It's 3-0 three to South End here. Just after the hour mark. And Crawley Town cannot deal with our heading at all today. Connor T Stanley... With his fourth of the season, Bennett with a really, really good ball in there. Let's just have a look at that again. Stands it up well. And St Stanley just backed off his marker there and sticks it in the back of the net. 62 minutes gone. We are 3-0 up. We're going to drop some praise on the boys here. There we go. We'll drop some praise on them. Just looking at the other results. Mansfield are drawing at the moment, so it does put us one point behind them as things stand. If they lose, we will go level on points with them. Goal difference is the only factor keeping us off the top, unless we can get some more goals here. Eight minutes to go. We'll make a change after this highlight, as we've not made one yet. But Nichols, great save by Archie Mayer there in the south end goal for us. Good, good save there as well. That is why I wanted to improve the goalkeeping position, as I just felt as though sometimes we would have let those shots in, and a good goalkeeper will keep the ball out of the net, and that is where we need to have built the team from the back forward. Alabiusi now on the right and there it is the end of the highlight. Four minutes to go we will make the first change of the game. Odebeko have not said much of him so we'll bring Stefan Payne on. Mundell's had a quiet game so we'll bring Ollie Turner on into there and put Levi Sutton in the middle and we'll put Oyugoki at right back instead of Alabiusi and just make the three changes in one just to run that clock down. Mundell now with the ball at his feet runs forward can he find anyone he's found Nathaniel George on the left is he going to feed it back? No, he whips a ball in. It's headed away by Crawley. But Borthwick Jackson gets hit his feet. Whips a ball in Mundell. Back to Borthwick Jackson. Oh, and it's come out for a corner. Can we make this one count as well, viewers? Can we get a fourth goal? No, no highlight there. And it does look like the game is going to finish here. 3-0. Three, no. Three minutes of injury time. Turner bringing it forward. Finds Nathaniel George on the left. Just splits off from his fullback. Stands it up again. Ball in. And it's just over everyone. A little bit too much power on it. Turner into Stanley. And it's cleared away by Crawley. Lennon now in the centre circle into Borthwick Jackson. 
bringing it down on this left hand side again crossing Connor Stanley oh and Morris in the Crawley goal holds on to it two minutes to go and a final final Crawley highlight here surely this is the last of the game one minute ten seconds to go can we keep a clean sheet here and it's headed away by Oyegoki Swindon Swindon Crawley pick it up on this right hand side now we I'd love us to keep an, a clean sheet here. If we can keep clean sheets as well, that is what takes us up to the to League One. As Khalid has a shot and he's bounced back to him. If he'd got if he was playing rugby, that'd have been straight over the post. Mayor with a goal kick now. Into Lennon, bringing it forward from the defence. 20 seconds to go. Into Nathaniel George now. Both with Jackson on the overlap, but feeds it to Turner, who just hoofs it into the left flank but no one's there it doesn't really matter at this stage of the game that he's given the ball away and there it is a really really good 3-0 win man of the match goes to Connor Stanley with a 7.3 no sorry man of the match goes to Ollie Turner with an 8 Lennon and Bennett with a 7.5 and 7.8 really really good performance very very happy with that xg 1.40 and we've won 3-0 20 shots 11 on target with 58% of the possession shows how dominant we were today. We'll tell the boys that was a really, really good win for us. And we'll just we'll say it throughout the team as well, rather than addressing them as as a as a collective unit, we'll do it individually as well, just to breed that confidence more. And there we are. It looks like Grimsby have won. They have with in the 85th minute, they're beating Swindon, who we play next, which is a good sign for us as who are almost out of the playoff places, but we move up into the top three automatic promotion places. One point off second, three points off the top. Can we pick up three points against Swindon? Join me again in a minute and we will find out. Just before we get into the Swindon game views, four players in Team of the Week, Bennett, Lennon, Stanley and Turner all in there. Four players in Team of the Week is a really, really good achievement and just shows how good we were against Crawley. Hopefully we can do the same against Swindon. Let's find out. We're going to remain unchanged for this viewers because I do not want to change a winning side, especially after such a good performance. So the starting 11 is Mayer in goal, Borthwick Jackson at left back, Lennon and Bennett in the centre with Alibusi on the right, Turner and Dieng in the centre with Nathaniel George on the left, Stanley on the right, Mundell in behind, Odebecker leading that line for us. If we can perform half as good as we did against Crawley, it will be an absolutely unbeatable team today as well. Few games have been played. We are playing on the Wednesday night, so we have dropped down to fourth. But again, if we win, we'll go back up into those automatic promotion places. Tell the boys to go out there and carry on where they finished from the last match because, like, I mean, as we know, it was such a good performance. And if we are serious about going up, those are the performances we need to be putting in week in, week out. Here we are then. Kick off is here. As I said, we have gone down into fourth place at the moment. Games. Well, with, with the games as they are, if we pick up the victory, we will go straight back into those automatic promotion places. Grimsby are playing this evening as well as our Mansfield, but the first half, it does come to Swindon here. Can we defend this ball? Oh, and it's 1-0 Swindon. Otte scores after his 15th, after the 15th minute. Not the plan, well, not the plan we had in mind, not the start we had in mind. Zeke Fry is with the throw in and then get, got it back from the resulting pass and a good cross in. And Otter has just got in between the two defenders there. A little bit too easy for my liking. And we are 1-0 down. Although, we, could we come straight back here? Albuusi into Mundell. Back to Albuusi. Headed away from the cross. Dieng now. Plays it backwards into Bennett. Can we bring this forward? He does. Long ball over the top. Into Odebeko. Odebeko's there. The linesman's kept his flag down. And Odebeko with a wonderful, wonderful finish. I don't know how he's managed to put the ball into the back of the net. Their keeper had absolutely no chance. As Grimsby Town as well, who are above us, go 1-0 down. Good ball from Bennett there. Odebeko. I mean, what a finish that is. What a finish. The keeper had absolutely no chance. And an instant reply from us there. Makes it one all. Another highlight here straight away. It starts with Swindon. Can we head this ball away? Oh no, Richards is in here. Richards, good save by Archie Mayer in the goal there. And Bothwick Jackson puts it out for a throw in to make sure it remains one all. At the moment, I don't think the table's updated yet. Oh no, it has. We are on 29 points and currently sitting in fourth. But Grimsby losing. If we win, we could go joint top of the table. Just goal difference keeping us off it. All to play for in this second half, viewers. Let's get these boys in and fire a rocket at them. Not literally, because that is dangerous. Don't play with fireworks inside. Just like Mario Balotelli did, and we all know how that ended. 
to all the boys that we, we are a little bit disappointed with that, especially after the last game. But I think if they can up the game in the second half, we will win this game. And here we are then. Kickoff is here. Results at the moment going in our favour. Mansfield drawing. Grimsby losing. Port Vale have played last night and it looks like they've won. So like I say, if we can win, it is a massive, massive three points for us here. The hour mark has come and gone. Not really seen much. Swindon with the throw-in will drop some encouragement on the boys as Odebeko picks it up now. What can he do? He's up there on his own, but Curran gets the ball away with a good slide and challenge on Odebeko. Swindon bring it down on his left. Play it into the middle, but Turner wins it back. Odebeko finds Nathaniel George, plays it back to him. Odebeko makes it 2-1. Adi Mippo, Odebeko with a lovely 1-2 with Nathaniel George, who's throwing his arms about like that. He's praising him. Unbelievable bit of play that. Oli Turner with a great interception in the middle there. Finds Odebeko. I thought the ball was going to be given away there, but Nathaniel George plays it first time to back to Odebeko who nestles it neatly past the goalkeeper, and that makes it 2-1 to Southend, away from home as well. What a result this would be, although there's immediately another highlight here for Swindon, but we've headed it away. Connor Stanley breaks down this right-hand side. Can he find Odebeko, who is on a hat-trick, or will he go alone? Connor Stanley's gone alone. Should have squared it there, but it's gone out for a corner. We saw how dangerous these were against Crawley. Will we do the same this time? Bennett, corner in. Nathaniel George is headed away. It is headed away, and the highlight has ended. No, we can't drop any praise just yet. Mare with the goal kick, finds it short to Lennon, launches it down the middle to Odebeko, but it's headed away. Mundell wins it back, though, and he's battled for the ball and done well. Odebeko picks it up. Odebeko fires. Oh, and it's just gone past the flown past the net. There's some very, very tired legs in that midfield. Saturday, Tuesday is affecting fitness level slightly. So we will make some changes. Damani Mellor comes on for Conor Stanley. He's only getting a 6.3 at the back. We'll bring Harry Lennon off as he's the tired one of him and Bennett. So Semple can come on. And I think we'll bring Dieng off and put Levi Sutton there. Then we've got fresh legs everywhere on the wings, in the midfield and in the defence. Just to freshen it up for these last 15 minutes. And a crucial 15 minutes these could be. Mella picks it up now. Running out to that left-hand side. Loses the ball a little bit too easily there. Swindon break down on this right-hand side now. Can we win this ball back? Good through ball. We've not. We've got the numbers back now, but we've not really got back our shape. And it's 2-all. Oh, it's 2-all. That's all come from Demani Mella losing the ball a little bit too easily there. It's come from our own corner as well. It makes it so much more disappointing. We did not get our shape back at all there. And we just didn't deal with these short passes. And Diara... Fires it past Mare in the goal. Right, we're going to, again, demand some more from these boys. He is onside there as well, just. I'm not sure who that is playing him on there. I have a feeling it's probably Semple. No, it was Bennett playing him onside, which is a little bit more disappointing. But again, is that the tiredness coming through into the squad? Highlight here. Six minutes to go plus injury time. Both with Jackson now. Come on, come on, Semple. Ball at his feet, launches it forward into Demani Mellor on its defended last ditch sliding challenge to block the ball. But a danger passes. Fed in Odebeko, who's. How has he missed that? Can we score from the resulting corner? Turner fires it near post. Bennett, oh, he's come back. Back to Ollie Turner now. Into Mellor. Oh, just can't get the ball in. Come on. And he's tripped someone up and given away a free kick. And Mellor picks up the yellow card. How did Odebeko, he's that was the easiest chance he's had of the game. He scored two harder ones and missed the easy one. Bennett launched it down into that left flank, chased it down by Odebeko. But again, three minutes to go, back with Swindon. Semple heads it away, Nathaniel George. Come on, oh, ball, long ball over the top. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I thought that was just going to be converted there. Alabiusi with a 5.9, having an absolutely shocking game. And there it is, viewers. A 2 all draw away from home. Not the worst result in the world on paper, but we shouldn't have lost that when you look at the performance we put in and the chances that we've had. Odebeko, how did he not score that last chance one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper? Tell the boys that wasn't good enough. I do think the games come quick and fast sometimes with a, Thursday, uh, a Saturday, Tuesday. Oh, this was a Wednesday, so again, has that affected us? We were tired very much or past that hour mark. Maybe we should have changed it, but I didn't really want to change a winning team. Probably did affect us. And that result sees us go down to fifth in the table. Just three points off the top, though. Again, still very, very congested here. Six points between first and seventh. We really need to start breaking away from this group or picking up some points from these teams around us. 
I think what we'll do is, viewers, we'll leave it there for today and we'll play the Carlisle game offline and then we'll come back for the Mansfield game. They are in first, which is a big, big game in the course of this season at the moment. And we'll just do that as a one-off special. If you have enjoyed that video, viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me. Share the video around. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Turn your little notification bell on as well so you know when a video drops. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again for more next time.